Yo, what's poppin' guys, Sizzle here, and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to get Windows into dark mode. This should work on both Windows 10 and Windows 11, anything before or after that, I can't really guarantee as much. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty simple process, I'll be showing up everything, including how to get stuff like Notepad here, uh, like the top of Notepad to actually be dark mode as well, which isn't something that just happens when you turn on dark mode normally. So yeah, uh... First up, you want to actually check that you have Windows activated. Most computers come with it activated. If there's no little watermark down here saying activate Windows, you're good to go. Uh, if not, you need to activate Windows. You've got a key somehow and activate it. From here, uh, click the little Windows thing in the bottom left or in the middle if you're on Windows 11. Go to settings, go to personalization, then go to colors. From here, change, choose your color from light to dark and this will already do wonders, right? So if I go back to light mode real quick, you can see if I open up like File Explorer and I open up Notepad, those are gonna be like the two I used to show off everything. You can see they're both in light mode, right? Pretty simple stuff. If I change them to dark mode, just like this, you can see File Explorer and a few other things, including the settings thing, go full dark mode and look amazing, but stuff like Notepad and other apps that you might've installed on your computer, are just completely light mode, which is not as amazing and can be really annoying. Uh, to help fix that, what we have to do is use an accent color. Now, this accent color is what's used by stuff like the blue over here, you know, like toggles like this that are blue. Uh, that's the accent color. You can change that to whatever you want. So if you want it to be like, I don't know, orange, uh, or you want it to be like cyan or seafoam, I guess they call it, you could change it to be that. And you'll also change the top of your taskbar to be that way as well. Uh, but what I'm going to do for the purpose of this tutorial is make it a, like, darkish gray. So I'm going to click this storm option down here, then hit custom color, and scroll it down to value 11. That's kind of my go-to. Found that's a really, really nice color. Uh, and then from here, all we have to do is click off title bars and window borders for show accent color. And as soon as we do that, if we go click over to notepad, you would see it's in a beautiful dark mode at the top. The rest of it's still normal and works completely fine, but now the top part is beautifully dark. Obviously, File Explorer didn't break or anything. It's still very much the same dark mode. Uh, the big problem that we have here, though, is you'll notice I clicked off of Notepad and went back to light mode. And for some reason, that's just like that. It's really, really annoying. I'm going to show you how to fix it. Uh, but for this next step, you want to be really, really careful. If you change the wrong files or do the wrong things, you can break your computer. Uh, just fair warning. <laughs> Make sure you follow it perfectly. So first step is to go to your Windows menu and go to the type search thing, type in reg edits or registry editor, get to registry editor right here, uh, click on it once, it'll ask you as admin, like, are you sure? Hit yes. Uh, from here, I'm already where I have to be, but I'm going to go back out of this menu so you guys can kind of see me getting to where I got to. So from here, uh, H key current user, click the little drop down menu software hit that little drop down menu scroll down until you get to windows then hit that little drop down menu and then you'll see dwm as a folder click on that from here right click new and then d word 32 bit value and you want to call it accent color inactive but let's say like i have a typo like this and i press enter by mistake to change that just right click rename and then make sure it's spelled exactly like this with the exact same capitalization and from here it'll technically already kind of work right, you'll notice if i click off of here and i go to file explorer now it's like this gray color but that might not be a color i like right it's a pretty pretty simple common issue so you want to do here is type in like hex color uh, and if you're on bing and so i think google chrome has this as well there's a color picker here and you can play around with that uh, just in case you're using a different browser or something, there's a lot of other websites like HTML color code codes, codes, HTML color codes here where you can do basically the same thing, drag it around, look for that hashtag value. Uh, but I'm just going to use the Bing one because it's right here. Now from here, you want to drag around to whatever value you want. Uh, so let's say I want this purple, find that hex value, hit that little copy button, go back to register, register edit, double click on accent color inactive where it says value data, paste in whatever you want and hit okay. And you can see it made it a pink, which isn't what I wanted. It, I wanted this purple, it made it a pink. And that's because Windows has a natural filter on this type of stuff for some reason. So you need to keep playing with values until you get the actual value you want. But the nice part is once you're done, you'll be done forever. 
So for me, I want like a nice dark black color. Uh, and it's okay if they make it a little bit lighter because that way, you know, like when I'm collecting on a window, you can see it's dark black. So if it's a little bit lighter, that's a good thing because then it means there'll be a lighter dark black. So let me paste in that value, hit OK. And now you can see when I click off of it, it is a nice dark black as well. Kind of almost indistinguishable from the, <laughs> the default dark black though, so I might go a little bit lighter. Let's do like... Now it's starting to get purple, so let's go over on the left here. Take a more gray value. There we go. Double click, paste that in. Might also be worth getting rid of the hashtag. I think that also helps a little. Uh, but now you can see, now it's a nicer, it's barely noticeably different, but now it is a different color. Like if I have these side by side, it's just nice. It looks really nice, looks really good. And we got proper dark mode support on every app, on everything. And yeah, from here, you're good to go. It'll save like that on your computer. Everything will just work as intended. You can also turn on Start Taskbar and Action Center if you want the stuff down here and set the change, but I wouldn't turn that on. I think it looks pretty bad. Although something else you could change is transparency effects, make this not transparent. But yet again, why did you do that? It looks nice. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's how you get dark mode, so you get it up and running. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, or concerns in the comments below, and I'll try to get to them if I see them. And uh, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one.